Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And you will not believe what Disney is going oh, to do. Oh, they'll believe. Uh, the rumors are true. Disney is going to double down on Rey. They're going to do more Star Wars movies. And yes, one of them is going to have Rey as a Jedi Master. Right, 15 years after the other movie she was in. Yes. Are they going to make her a, an insufferable bench who, you know... Kill, tried to kill someone for no damn good reason other than to, to you know advance their, their sequel trilogy and characters. No, of course not. She's going to be the best Jedi ever. Right, right. She's, the best yeah. ever. I refuse to say, they keep saying uh, Rey Skywalker. Nope. I refuse to recognize that she's a Skywalker because that's just dumb. So we thought that Disney couldn't sink any lower with Star Wars after the Lizzo and Jack Black cameos. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no. They're just going to double down on things that consumers do not want. Now, remember, guys, the sequel trilogy, movie after movie, mm -hmm. declined at the box office. But for some reason, they think going back to this well is going to fix things. Yes. They even said, it gets even more insulting, guys. They said that she's going to be fulfilling a destiny teased in the sequel trilogy. You mean the one that she's a chosen one because rebuild the Jedi because that was about Anakin? And then, you know, that was that was that was Anakin, then we talked about Luke, and now now it's her because Dizzy Dizzy changed it for no damn good reason. 30 years of, you know, fans prior to Disney, you know, pissing out ruining it. And they and then Dizzy comes in and changes it, but that's, you know, she's just fulfilling the destiny that Disney set up. They, they, they get worse. This will also give Rey a chance to honor the memories of all her fallen allies and to make up for the regret that her semi-mentor Luke Skywalker had with his own life as a Jedi Master. Semi-mentor. Yeah, but the regret. Well, no, because Leia too. Because the regret that he had that, that he had in his life. I mean, the regret that, that that Disney undid his ending and then made him a miserable asshole for no reason. They had pictures of Luke Skywalker's face in cubicles at Lucasfilm with an X on it because they were trying to deliberately destroy him. Fans didn't like it. I wonder why. So here's the thing, guys. Any hope that we had for Disney to get their heads out of their asses and fix Star Wars is gone. But I thought, I thought that you know they were that Kathleen Kennedy was gone and they were going to fix all this oh, yeah, stuff. I thought that Disney was was finally coming around and they were gonna, they were going to they're they going to were... end the wokeness. Then John, you know, uh, Dave Filoni and John Favreau are going to take over and fix it all. Well, Filoni gets yeah, a movie. I thought so. Oh, okay. But it's not related to this one. So what's going on is there's going to be three quasi-trilogy movies, right? So this doesn't make any sense. But they're doing one in the past, one in the present, and one in the future, okay? So uh, James Mangold, who was originally what, what the Bubba Fett guy, wasn't he? He's yeah. getting to do a movie about the origin, the past, the origin of the Jedi and where it came from so that Disney can make sure they put their personal rinse all over that. Oh, there, there's the time travel element. Rey's going to go back in time and she's going to start the Jedi too. And right. then she's going to come back and finish the Jedi. And she's going to fix it. Well, yeah. Dave Filoni is getting to do a movie where he's going to to do something, I guess, at during... Like the right before it's the Mandalorian time frame. So he's always something leading into the Mandalorian TV show because, you know, we have to connect the TV show and Disney Plus to the, the you know, the one that's doing shitty. They're, yeah, right. They, they've just dropped off a cliff and with the Mandalorian, jump the shark, backflip the baby Yoda over the bug bowl, whatever the hell you want to call it. Now they're going to do another Ray movie. What the hell are you thinking? I don't know. It's, it's absolutely stupid. I'm, try, I'm trying to find the quote here we're saying about what he's... He's set to helm a movie that will follow the escalating war between the Imperials and the fledging New Republic that culminates in the Disney Plus shows. It's a cinematic event set during the Mandalorian time. Are we finally going to explain what the hell the First Order is? Because I still don't know what the First well, Order is. Well, what are Disney made up? You know, remember that, that you know, Iger had a, a treatment for what the sequel trilogy should be from George Lucas, and he threw it out and then gave it their treatment, which, you know, this has done so treatment. well. This is fan fiction. This is Kathleen Kennedy's fan fiction. When you That's have films that, that have this. split the fandom, they had this huge fandom that kept it popular for decades, multi-generational fandom, and Disney gets hold of it, and then they ruin it within a span of a few years because they, they make bad choices. Why the hell would you make the same choices? I don't. I, meanwhile, meanwhile, we're talking about this. 
Mandalorian season three's ratings are, the, are worrying for Disney because they're the, they've significantly dropped off a cliff. Significantly. And you know what made people happy? When you brought Luke back and made him Luke, people were loving it. But no, no, you're going to have Ray do a film where she's going to, you know, fix the, her semi mentor. Luke. F fix all of that that man's mistakes. You know, fix his regrets. Yeah. Not mistakes, they said regrets, which I mean Disney's regrets, but the, fix the regrets. And then, and then, why would Disney possibly be doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on this dumbassery? Well, they're still trying to make their Star Wars hotel go. Yeah, that, that, okay. Rather than just admitting the Galaxy's Edge is a dud, that the Star Wars hotel is a that dud, the Star Wars they have is a dud. That they're they're going to be like, no, let's let's triple down on on Ray Star Wars, Disney Star Wars, like Disney's Doug. It's like off brand Star Wars. Let's triple down on this. There is no way in hell Star Wars is ever going to get fixed at this point. I mean. Like, look, Star Trek Paramount finally got a freaking clue. And they're like, oh, hey, yeah, let's cancel Discovery. Let's do Strange New Worlds, which is like the Enterprise and just like typical Star. And let's let's actually fix Picard. Disney's too arrogant to do that. Yeah, and Bob it, Iger's arrogance is what led to all of this. Right. And that's exactly what's the same thing, I think, is what's going on here is him and Kathleen Kennedy. Um, they're just like, you know, ha can't admit that they they messed up. And you, you, you took decades, like I said, of fan goodwill. And within a span of a few years, you split the fandom down the middle. And and then you keep doubling down on it. It's like, especially when it comes to Luke Skywalker. You got, you know, then bringing him back from the Mandalorian. People were happy. Like, oh, look, we kind of undid Luke. The damage is to Luke. Let's, let's move forward. No, we're going to go back and rub salt in the wound once again. And, and another thing that they were talking about uh, with a Celebration is Ahsoka. And Ahsoka apparently is going, they're, they're teasing Heir to the Empire. They literally say about Thrawn, an heir to the Empire. The one thing people wanted, the one, if you're not familiar, Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and Last Command were the Timothy Zahn books that came out. It was like the first sequel stuff they did to Disney, or to, not Disney, to Star Wars that Disney undid, Disney erased. Everybody's wanted it. Everybody wants Thrawn. Um, that's where he came from. I want Mara Jade, but I don't want Disney to touch Mara Jade because they'll effing ruin Mara Jade. They're going to finger Mara Jade. They know? better not. They'll, they'll ship ruin her, her with Ahsoka or something. Probably. Yeah, yeah. So now now they're they're trying, the one thing people wanted, now they're trying to tease that with Ahsoka. Yeah, it's, it's uh, so look, I'm really getting some mixed messages here because they're, they're talking about the uh, world within worlds. And so that was, that was a rumor that they were going to use that concept, I guess, to reboot Star Wars to, you know, and use time travel to undo the sequels. But then they announce a Ray movie. Yes, yeah, so I'm very confused. Um, are they, oh my God, are they going to do a Star Wars multiverse? Oh my God, they better not. This is just, it's getting too convoluted. It's not even, just stop. Just stop. George Lucas told his story. In my mind at this point, Star Wars is done. It's over. It was a nice when we had it. It was a great thing when we were kids, but it's, this is not, this is zombified Star Wars. This mm -hmm. is not actual Star Wars. George Lucas doesn't even consider it Star Wars. It's all fan fiction. And yeah, it's nice to see Rebels again. It's basically a live action Rebels. Well, they're point. saying that he's in Thrawn, but from what I'm hearing is not, he's not the, the main bad guy. Nah. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't even, I mean, I'm at a point where it's like, I, I'm not angry because I have moved on from Star Wars. I have moved on from Marvel. I'm just looking at Disney's decisions and I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? Again, what are they thinking? What are you thinking? What are you doing? Does anybody over there know what they're doing? Because I don't think there are any adults running this company. It doesn't make any I, sense. It doesn't make any you're sense. Already, you're already screwed the pooch. You can't unscrew the pooch. I mean, they're, you, you, doubling down on the screwing is not going to fix the situation. <laughs> I'm sorry I screwed you once. Let me do it again. I know. It. It's like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. You, you, decisions of the sequel trilogy have uh, split the fandom. And you know that. You know that, that people don't like, don't like where it's going. You could just pick something else and do something else. But no, no. No. We're going to go find a way to ruin Heir to the Empire and the Zon trilogy that people love. What else, what else those fans that, that didn't love our, our vision, not, what do they love so we could ruin that too? They've ruined Willow. They're going to ruin Indiana Jones, although it could be argued Indiana Jones already nuked the fridge, so whatever. Um, 
Just stop. It's already dead. Stop. No, no, no. She's come back. And Kicking of course, the the Mary corpse. Sue is like, oh, my God. But then this isn't going to go well as, as well as I think because there's no uh, no uh, Ben, Kylo Ren. And and the Raylos were the ones that were like the ones pushing the last Jedi and all that shit. The, oh the shippers, God. when they didn't get it for Rise of Skywalker and they killed him. They were like so pissed, and now you have Ray by herself. <laughs> They're gonna have Ray wind up with Mara Jade. Mara Jade's gonna be old Mara Jade, played by Shelley Duvall. No, <laughs> Here you go. I just can't anymore. I just, I just when you think like, I, I, but this just proves. Like, oh, they're gonna they're gonna stop with their their you know divisive crap and Dizzy's Dizzy's walking it back and all this other crap. You keep hearing people saying, and I'm like that. I I heard that investor call, and while the invest the, the investors were calling in and were pissed and were mad, that's for sure. Iger ba- made it very clear that he doesn't give two shits that you're mad and upset. He's going to do what this is going to do what they want to do. And, and, and they, they told you so. Well, that's like Ike Perlmutter. They got rid of him and he had a thing in uh, Wall Street Journal. And he said, well, I'm still the largest single shareholder at Disney. But he's like, it's going to get worse, guys. Just so mm-hmm. you know. He said, I'm going to be here. I'm, get, I'm keeping all my shares to make sure I can put some pressure on. But he's like this. It's a lost cause. Yeah. Like this company is a lost cause. So let them go bankrupt. Uh, let them put out products that fail. Uh, let YouTube channels like us mock those products and make money. Yeah. Well, the one <laughs> thing know? I think they have coming out people are going to be interested in is Ahsoka. I don't think they'll give yeah. two shits about Skeleton Crew. The Acolyte, nobody cares. Um, Ahsoka was their one shot, and they're going to find a way to F that up. I'm sure. I mean, The Mandalorian, they had a good thing going, and they ruined that too. You know, it, it's just Disney never knows when to stop. Mm-hmm. You know, because you milk too hard, you're going to run out of milk, you're going to bruise the cow. They just keep, they, they've gone past bruising. They just ripped those udders off. <laughs> ripped them off. Now, they're just, now they're just parading them down the street mm-hmm. in a fandom. It's almost like they get, they get I, I honestly, God, think they get off on it. I think they're like. No, that's what they're trying to do. I think, yeah. and I think it's, I think it's Iger and Kathleen Kennedy. How dare, how dare you plebs tell me what should you, that your fans for years of this, pro- how dare you? I'm, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. No, I'll show you. Iger's attitude. We saw his attitude with the Florida State. Bob Iger thinks he's the freaking emperor of Disney. He's the emperor of Hollywood. And, and Kathleen Kennedy thinks that she's the empress of, of Star Wars. Yeah. So there's nothing There's nothing that's going to get through to these guys. They will never admit that they fucked up. I mean, they're, they're doubling down the Star Wars hotel when the easiest fix would be take it offline for a year, retheme it as original trilogy, make it like a day trip. And make it a dinner theater, something, throw some old school Star Wars in there, and you did money in the bank. But will they do that? No. Will they retheme Galaxy's Edge when it was a, I mean, Iger's attitude with Galaxy's Edge? Oh, it's Star Wars. We'll just say, hey, it's open, guys, and people will come. I don't he have said to, it flat yeah, out. You literally said, all you got to do is tweet, Star Wars is open, and it's going to be packed. And it didn't go the way you thought it was going to go because nobody wants your Disney Star Wars. Well, some people want your Disney Star Wars. So that, no, let's people. just double down on it. And like yeah, I said, Ray without, without Kylo Ren for the shippers, good luck. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. Oh, my God. If they put Ray with somebody else, they're going to freaking lose their shit. Well, Actually, no, she's going to be the most amazing Jedi Master ever. Yeah. The one that Luke Skywalker, everybody thought Luke Skywalker was going to be. She's going to be the Jedi. Sure she's going to be the Jedi Luke never was. I want to see the oh big fucking God. X on her face. And I want to see them treat her the way they treated the character of Luke Skywalker. Um, and then when people yell, they say, well, it's not for you. Oh, no. I want to see somebody come in and undo the Disney trilogy and be like, oh, yeah, Ray. Yeah, she was a Palpatine all along. She's going to be the Empress of the galaxy. And then an actual real Skywalker, Luke's like hidden son or something, has to take her bitch ass out. They won't you know, do that. No, nah, they won't do that. All right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. This is abandon all hope. It's over. Star Wars is just, it's done. Put a fork in it. You might get a couple of nuggets here and there that resemble Star Wars, but. The rest of it, the nuggets you don't want. It's done. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.